Hi guys! So, not that long ago on TikTok, I posted a video about the journey of me and my bear. And basically, the story behind me and popcorn is, I got popcorn for my fifth Christmas, I was five years old, and um, basically I walked into the living room and the first, like, this present stood out to me and it was um, a big, like a gorgeous bag with like sunflowers on it, just a paper bag. And popcorn was inside it, he looked gorgeous, not like he does now. I mean, you're still lovely, but like, his fur was amazing. He had a, a red bow on and he looked amazing. Um, I'll put a picture here of the, you know, that Christmas morning. Um, and I'd asked for a bear that I could talk to. Um, so I got a bear that I could write letters to, so that's what we did. I wrote him letters. I drew him pictures and I would, like, he'd be sat somewhere, I'd put the letter on his knee, we'd go out, like, whatever I'd go to school or wherever, um, I'd come back and he would have replied, or I'd leave a bowl of Cheerios and when I'd come back he'd eaten the Cheerios. Um. <laughs> so I'm 20 now, so he's going to be 15 this Christmas, um, he's not in as good condition as he was. He's been through the wash a lot. He's um, He's been through a lot because he comes everywhere with me. Every holiday that I've been on since I was five, popcorn has come with me, so. Um, but he had a haircut the other day, so like, I can actually see his eyes now. Like, it took me a while to get used to it. The sunflower bag that popcorn came in, it was just popcorn and this, card which it literally looks like a picture of popcorn and then also I have this photo in with it um, I love that picture so much um, so he came with this card and um, there's the inside I'll read it out to Evie hello my name is popcorn father Christmas has sent me to you because you asked for a bear who could write to you I love to write letters and draw pictures. I hope we will be best friends and you will love me very much. Love from Popcorn. Um, and I just remember, I've kept this card ever since and it's one of the most precious things that I have in my room, I'm not joking. Um, and I don't know why I'm shaking a little bit. Um, but I, I just, I love it so much. This photo is very special to me as well. Um, but Popcorn is just, my baby and he has been since the day that I got him um, he isn't a jumper now you know he's getting old so he feels the cold a bit more Don't make it. Um, so I thought that I would do a full YouTube video where can I put him where he will still be in the background there he's still in the background so I thought for I would do a full YouTube video going through the letters that we wrote to each other um, and that I drew to him, that he replied back. But also, some of the, these letters, I had another bear um, called Bear, original, I know, and um, he was he was a big part of my childhood as well. Unfortunately, I don't have him in my bedroom. He is in the attic somewhere, and we haven't been able to find him for ages, which is really sad. Um, so he was a big part of my childhood as well. So I do have pictures that I've drawn to him from when I was like, really little so you know it's all just like scribbles and stuff but um yeah let's see what we have in here I'll try they're not in order or anything but I'll try to start with ones from when I was really little um like five six years old so um yeah so this must have been a drawing at Christmas time it says two bear and there's a weird Christmas tree, a caterpillar, I think that is. What the fuck? Yay! Um, oh, and that's how I used to draw bears. So that's how I used to, how I used to draw him. Oh, this one. <laughs> so a lot of my early ones are just for bear. Um, I don't know where all the pictures are that I drew for popcorn. Maybe I drew to bear first, I'm not sure. Um, so two bear, love for Evie. Um, and then there's a picture of me and Bear, 
holding hands. I don't know what, what is that? It's like some kind of weird moldy thing in a cocoon. There's another one of those caterpillars. Why did I draw those? <laughs> Um, here's another one. So this is the back. There's Bear and there's me. Um, and it just says, To Bear, love from Evie. Oh. Um. <laughs> wow, this one's really good. Really outdone myself with this one. <laughs> um. Here's another picture that I did for Bear. I don't know what all these are. Um, there's me and Bear again. Ah! Oh no. These are so special to me as well. Oh here, I have a reply from Bear. So this one is to me. To my friend Evie, thank you for my picture. That was very kind of you. Do you have any honey in the house? I love honey. Will you write to me again? I would like that love from Bear. Oh, and this was like his signature. So after most of his letters, he did like a little bear face. P.S. I like the new doll. So I must have got a new like baby doll. Um, um so this one is from Bear. Um, yeah, so at first I would just draw pictures and stuff, but then I started to leave out bowls of honey. And I remember I left him on the windowsill in the living room one time before school. This isn't bear, by the way, this is popcorn, but this I just remember this. Um, and I left him a bowl of honey, like, between his legs, like here, when he was sat down. And I came home, he was still on the windowsill, but he had, like, honey smudged around his nose. Um, if you're a bit older and you're watching this, or you might already have a kid, like, honestly, this was the highlight of my childhood. I would really recommend that people start doing this for their kids, because it was so memorable i loved it so much it really just the magic of it all and believing that it was amazing um here's another one to bear i don't quite understand what these are pc cc i don't know what that is this is another one from bear see there's his little signature to my friend evie thank you for my letter it was very kind of you i love wearing the owl mask love from bear Ooh, eh. I don't remember what owl mask he's talking about, but um, maybe it was Halloween or something, I don't know. Another one from Bear. He just used to do a little like kiss on his letters and stuff. Yay! I say he as if like he genuinely did write them, but it was so magical, honestly. To Evie, thank you for my pretty picture. I hope you enjoy your firework party tonight with all of your friends, love from Bear. Um, here's another one. I think I must have been really young in this one, maybe like six or something. To Bear, love from Evie, and there's me. <laughs> so cute, man. Um, oh, this one looks quite young. So, um, oh, cute. So this one, these are all like cut out and they've been stuck in. Bear, Evie. Wow. <laughs> this is another one from Bear. To my, yeah, this must have been Halloween. To my friend Evie, thank you for my letter. It was great. You look fantastic dressed up as a witch. I love you from Bear. Yeah, it must have been Halloween. Ah! Um, let's have a look. Yeah, this is another young one. This is just a picture to Bear and I've done this like rainbow star thing. Wow. Ah, fuck, yeah. This one is literally just on a bit of scrap paper. Oh, this one is another one from there. There's a picture of him. To my best friend, Evie. Thank you for my letter. Can I sleep in bed with you tonight? It gets a bit cold at night. Love from Bear. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, we used to have little like um, teddy bear picnics and stuff um, I would like arrange little dates like I'd send them a letter like hey do you want a tea party tonight and they would reply like yeah that sounds great <laughs> um, another one from bear to Evie thank you for my beautiful picture it's fabulous hope you feel better soon love from bear 
I mustn't have been feeling very well. Mm. Tasty. I don't know why this is in here, but it's literally just, just scribbles. Just put that one over there. <laughs> this looks like Bear's writing. I've only just like found this out, but this one says to Evie, I would love to sleep at your house. Thank you. Did you enjoy your gymnastics? Love from Bear. So I wonder if Bear wasn't actually mine at first. Maybe he was like my grandparents or something. That's so interesting. I can't believe I never knew that. It's so weird. Um, <clears throat> I don't have that many to popcorn, but I have a lot that he's written to me. Um, also, my ticks are quite good today, just because like, I feel like I'm going to get comments like, your ticks are really good in this video, but um, when I'm sat rambling and I'm like, because like, I'm concentrated, I'm doing something, I'm showing you stuff, my ticks aren't that bad. Like When I'm sat talking, my ticks are usually really good, so um, <laughs> here's another one from me. It says, oh, this is too bare, but my writing's older in this one, so I must have been a bit older. Dear Bear, is Bambi real? That was another one of my toys. Please tell me. Lots of love, Evie. P.S. Would you like some honey in the morning for breakfast? And then I've drew me and Bear in a heart. And on the back it says, Dear Evie, we have never heard Bambi talk. Yes, I would really like to have honey for breakfast. Love you, Bear. Notice that it's on a high school musical piece of paper. <laughs> That's hilarious. Um... Oh yeah, I remember this was right before, so if you don't know, I was a competitive gymnast growing up. I did acrobatics. This one was given to me right before a competition. To Evie, we wish you lots of luck today. We love you. Be brilliant and smile, all your bears. Um, yeah, they used to give me letters before my gym competitions and stuff. I think I have another one about somewhere. Um, right, I'm pretty sure these are all popcorns, so let's have a look. Dear Evie, thank you for the lovely letter. It was great having a jacket on, very cozy. I will write to you sometimes, but we like but we like letters too. We like you to be happy. Enjoy your pajama day. Love you, popcorn. And then at the bottom it says, love the honey. And he's drawn a little bumblebee. So cute. <whistles> yeah, here's another one about my gym competition. Dearest Evie, you'll be great in the competition and we wish you lots of luck. Just remember to smile loads and remember everything your coach has told you. Love you lots, don't be nervous. I would love to do something with you, anything. Love you, popcorn. So I must have asked him if he wanted to do something with me. <laughs> so I wrote, for, I wrote to popcorn up till, from when I was five up till literally maybe 11. I'm not even joking. Um, maybe 10, but... Um, a long time you know but growing up I was always really really into my stuffed toys my dolls um, not like Barbies or things like that but like like baby dolls that you look after and treat like a baby um, I mean I'm literally still obsessed with stuffed toys aren't I like I still haven't grown up I'm still obsessed with stuffed toys but like growing up it was such a big thing so that's why I wrote to them till I was like older than most people would um dear Evie it's fine for Daniel to write to bear as long as he uses his best for handwriting that's my little brother I would like to sleep with you but don't worry too much I have a thick coat I would love to see a photo of the kitten love you so yeah in 2010 I think we got our first cat and his name was Alfie Unfortunately, we didn't even have him that long because he went missing um, and he was never found. Um, but yeah, that's what that kit, that's what that letter's talking about. Oh, I like this one. Dear Evie, I don't know what X Factor is, but I will watch it with you. Don't worry, I knew it was your daddy who put me in the cupboard. Love you, popcorn. I don't know why my dad would put popcorn in the cupboard. He would never do that now. Hey. Um, oh yeah, 
Dearest Evie, I don't mind what we do today. We could watch the TV later if you like. Would love to sleep with you tonight. P.S. Not keen on the cupboard. Love you, popcorn. So this one must have been sent just before this one because um, he says in that one, I knew it was your dad who put me in the cupboard. I, I just don't get why he would do that. That's so weird. <laughs> um... Dear Evie, I love you too. I will try not to fall out of bed for you. Yeah, he still does that. Like I'll wake up and he'll be on the floor and I'm like, what are you doing? Loads of luck for the competition. If you concentrate, you will be fine. Remember to have fun and enjoy it too. Love, popcorn. Another one before a gym competition. I have all my medals somewhere still. Um. Oh, another one before a gym competition. Dearest Evie, don't be nervous. You'll be amazing. Love the card, love you. Enjoy it and be strong and believe in yourself. Popcorn. Ooh. Oh, this must have been um, when Alfie had came home now, the kitten. Dearest Evie, you can put the kitten on me if he's not too heavy and doesn't use his claws. I love the name Alfie, it's cute. I hope you're working hard at gym and doing well so that you can be proud of yourself. I bet you are fab. Don't worry, we all get tired sometimes. I do sometimes get cold at night, but not often. Love you loads, popcorn. I used to write to him being concerned that he would be cold at night and stuff and how he would fall out of bed and stuff like that. Um, so, I haven't done these in a very good order, so thank you for my card and golden nuggets. If you don't know what that is, it's a type of cereal. Good luck for Sunday, you'll be fab, another gym competition. Hope you enjoy your Chinese cookies. I bet they taste great. I made those at school. Please bring the kitten to see me when it arrives. Love you, popcorn. Yeah, so this was before Alfie had arrived. I'm coming to the last few now, and these are the letters that we wrote to each other when I started to believe that it, he might not be real, that he might not actually be the one writing to me. So, um, let's have a look. Oh no, this is, oh, I should have read these first, but I wanted it to be like a genuine reaction. So this one is another one. Dear Bear, would you like to have a picnic with me after school at half four? Lots of love from Evie. P.S. Please reply and please hum. And then he's written yes please on the bottom. Right, these three are about when I started to believe that he wasn't real. Um, so this one is, this one's really memorable to me, I don't know why. A little flower on the front and inside it says, My lovely Evie, I love you now and I always will whether I am real or not. Love popcorn. So I remember reading this and I was like, what does that mean? Like, does that mean he's not real? So, um, yeah, so this was my reply. Dear Popcorn, thank you for my letter. Does that mean that my mum or dad writes these letters from you? Lots of love from Evie. And Popcorn's reply was, it's not your mum or dad, silly. The person who writes them is fatter, has a big belly and loves all children, implying that it's Santa Claus. Yes, I love you lots, but not as much as your mummy or daddy. I know what all your bears are thinking. They love you lots with a kiss. Um, and then I started to feel a bit kind of, not sad, but kind of like, oh, like, you know. Um, and so I'd obviously written him another letter. Um, I don't know where that one is, I'm sorry. Um, this is from Popcorn. This is the last letter I have in my collection. Dear Evie, you are becoming a big girl and you should always believe in magic. Please just give me cuddles when you want, but you can stop writing if you feel babyish. A girl should always love her teddies, whether she is 10 or 100. I do not write to you myself, as I think you know, but these letters are written to you by someone who loves you 100 times more than a teddy and always wanted you to be happy. Even though I do not write to you, please still take good care of me and your other bears. We love you, popcorn. Makes me feel a bit emotional, actually. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's all of our letters. Um, I still, like, if I'm going to put a movie on sometimes, I don't go and sit downstairs without popcorn. I'm not joking. He's been on hospital trips, holidays, 
Um, like the amount of times when I've been in hospital and they've said to me, oh, you have to stay overnight, I'm sorry. And my dad will come and be like, I'll get popcorn. <laughs> yeah, he's been to hospital a lot with me. I love him so much. I feel like we have such a story to tell and like because of all these letters and everything I just feel so connected to him like I know that it's just a stuffed animal but he is I love him so much actually I'm gonna show you something 10 years after getting popcorn so I will have been 15 years old um, I wasn't doing very well when I was 15 with mental health and um, you know, my mental health was just awful. Um, I was being homeschooled, stuff like that. Um, so my mum wanted to cheer me up. I'm guessing that's why she did this. Um, and she got me this. And if you can't tell, these two are the same bear. This is Popcorn, the original, and this is Pipcorn and their brothers. <laughs> I'm such a saddo. <laughs> um, so this is more or less what Popcorn looked like when I first got him, except Popcorn was shinier. Um, and she said she tried so hard to search for one of these. Um, if you're wondering why Popcorn was in a bag in my cupboard, it's because I'm, I've put him away to keep him in safe condition because I want to do this with my kids when I'm older. So I'm gonna give this to one of my kids, well, probably my first kid, um, and I want to get them, if they want to, I'm not gonna force them, I wanna try and get them into doing the same thing because it was such a special part of my childhood and I think it would, it was just amazing. It felt like I had a best friend, you know, it wasn't, like I was never lonely because I had popcorn. So I wanna do this for my kids. So he is in a bag for now, ready to be very loved in the future. Mm. But get in there. Mm. And yeah, that's pretty much it. That's the story of me and Popcorn. He lives on my bed, but like I said, he comes everywhere with me. I'm going to a, I'm having a two night stay in a caravan with Peter soon. And of course, Popcorn will be coming. Um, so, yeah, I think that's everything. I hope you liked seeing our letters and everything. Thank you for watching. Mwah.